Hello everyone. Today I am going to read chapter number six, The Great Escape from the book Gulmohar Language for Life, ninth edition, class three. Now let's get started with the Great Escape. Dorothy, a young girl, gets carried away from her home by a cyclone. Cyclone is a storm with strong winds. She reaches the magical land of Oz, where she meets the cowardly lion, the tin woodman, and the scarecrow. Cowardly means a person behaves in a cowardly way when they are not brave and are afraid of doing anything in a difficult situation. Dorothy wishes to go back home. The lion wants courage. The woodman wants a heart and the scarecrow wants a brain. Courage means being brave. They decide to travel to the Emerald City to meet the great wizard of Oz and ask for his help. Wizard means a man who has magical powers in fairy tales and legends. Along the way, they meet strange new people and have many different adventures. Dorothy, the cowardly lion, the tin woodman and the scarecrow were walking through the forest when they saw a ditch before them. Ditch means a long and narrow hole dug at the side of a field. It was a very wide and deep ditch with big pointed rocks at the bottom and steep sides. Steep means rising sharply. What shall we do? asked Dorothy sadly. We must try and jump over it, said the scarecrow. I think I could jump over it, said the lion after looking at the ditch carefully. Then you can carry us all over on your back. One at a time, said the scarecrow. I am terribly afraid of falling myself, said the lion, but we must try. I will go first. If you cannot jump over the ditch and fall, it would not hurt me at all, said the scarecrow. The scarecrow sat upon the lion's back. Then with a great spring, the lion shot through the air and landed safely on the other side. Spring means jump. Shot through the air means went high up in the air at a great speed. Landed means came down to the ground after moving through the air. They were all very pleased to see how easily he did it. One by one, the lion carried all of them and landed safely on the other side. After resting for a while, they started walking along the road. Soon, they heard strange noises from deep inside the forest. The lion whispered, That must be the Kalidas. They live in this part of the country. What are Kalidas? asked Dorothy. They are frightening beasts with bodies like bears and heads like tigers, replied the lion with long and sharp claws. I am very afraid of the Kalidas. Beasts means monsters. They came to another ditch across the road, but this one was so broad and deep that the lion knew he could not jump over it. So they sat down to think what they could do. The scarecrow said, This tree is very close to the ditch. If the tin wood man can chop it down, it will fall to the other side and we can walk over it easily. That is a great idea, said the lion. One would almost think you had brains instead of straw. The woodman set to work and chopped the tree. Then the lion put his front legs against the tree and pushed it. Against the tree means close to the tree, touched the tree. Slowly the big tree tipped and fell with a crash across the ditch, with its top branches on the other side. Tipped means bent. They had just started to cross the bridge when a sharp growl made them all look up. 
growl means to make a low deep and angry sound in the throat they saw two great beasts with bodies like bears and heads like tigers running towards them the kalidas said the lion beginning to shake with fear stand close behind me i will fight them as long as i am alive the lion turned to face the kalidas and gave out a loud and terrible roar out of fright terrible means very unpleasant out of fright means because of fear dorothy screamed and the scarecrow fell over backwards the kalidas stopped and looked at the lion in surprise but seeing they were bigger than him they rushed forward and began to cross the bridge hurry up cried the scarecrow let us cross over the four of them crossed the bridge as quickly as they could once they reached the other side the scarecrow asked the tin woodman to chop away the end of the tree that was on their side of the ditch quick said the scarecrow the woodman began to use his axe at once the kalidas had almost crossed the bridge when the tree fell with a crash into the ditch along with the beasts well said the lion drawing a long breath of relief those creatures frightened me so badly that my heart is still beating drawing a long breath of relief means feeling very happy because something unpleasant has not happened or has ended ah said the tin woodman sadly i wish i had a heart to beat the four travelers kept walking until they could see a yellow brick road and green meadows on the other side of a broad river soon they saw a delightful country before them read the wizard of oz to find out what happens next adapted from the wonderful wizard of oz by l frank baum i hope you like this story and here are some back exercises for you to work upon and do read this story that is the wonderful wizard of oz to know more about how everyone has got the parts that they wanted and that would be a great uh, reading experience for you and a wonderful story to go through and here are the back exercise which you will practice on your own happy learning thank you so much